Dude, memories, huh? So high. Memories, bro. Dude, memories are crazy because, like, you tell that story to me so much. If you were to tell a story to me so much, you might then uh, eventually believe I was there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about the way memory. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's interesting. Yeah. Like, there's been crazy you, studies done on this and it's nobody understands. You it. cannot like take like if somebody's describing something that happened 20 years ago, it's just you, you might as well be telling a uh, uh, someone about a no, a Michael Crichton novel. It didn't happen. Basically. Basically, yeah. It basically didn't happen. Basically. Well, and, and even that's if you, the right way to think of it though. And even if you tell the story over and over again, it's like a game of telephone. If you tell yourself it, yeah, yes, you're yes, playing yes. telephone with yourself. Yeah, and right. you you tell the story over and over again, and then this happened, and then you're like, as you tell the story, wait, wait this is what happened. I said this so much, I don't connect with it anymore. Did it even really happen, bro? It's crazy, dude. The craziest thing is that that's so true that we sometimes take other people's stories, mm -hmm. and think of them as yep. our own, but they're someone else's. Yeah, Have you ever done that? I've done that a handful of times, and it's such a strange feeling because, oh, like, man. the person you're telling it to, or if you're telling it to a group, one of them will be like, that happened to me. The, the, that's a Louis C.K. joke. It is? Yeah. No way. Yeah. He's like, you ever tell I'm a story that somebody else's? Yeah. Oh my God. You tell a story so, about someone else. Uh, you, you tell a story that's someone else's and then you tell it to the person that, is it, that it is and you're telling the story and they're like, that happened to me. But he's saying he steals the story on purpose. Yeah. No, no, I don't know actually. I don't remember. I'm saying- It happened so long ago and I don't remember. Right. Yeah. I mean, I remember I read this study once on people and their memories of 9-11. Yeah. And they would- re-interviewed these same people that they interviewed like a week after 9-11. I don't know how they oh. put the study together so fast. Yeah. But they just happened to be right place, right time. Mm -hmm. And then they would re-interview them a month later, a year later, 10 years later. And like their memories of 9-11, mm -hmm. which everyone obviously thinks we all remember where yeah. we were when yeah, we found yeah, out yeah. what we were doing, uh -huh. how we felt. These people were just like, with specific memories a couple of days afterwards uh -huh. had like zero ability to recall, but not in the way that you would expect. You'd think someone who can't recall something would be like, shit, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. They had they had specific ideas about what? what their memories were, but they were wrong. Why? Because that's how brains work, man. Oh, wow. Brains don't, you ever heard that expression, nature abhors a vacuum? Mm -mm. It's like, you can't actually have nothing you're in in this case it's the brain like the brain will create stuff that makes sense to have happened oh. but didn't actually happen if you have a hole in a memory oh, like if no. you if you're telling a story no, that you 80 like percent remember your brain will tell you you remember 100 percent of it because it'll just bridge gaps almost automatically for you so we're constantly doing that about everything we remember or think or feel or project in the future about other things it's like we don't even realize that we're doing that's it. unfair no way, dude. That's the like most it. fair thing. That's that's like how it's amazing that our brains do that. We're lucky. But but they make shit up. Yeah, and they it do. Didn't happen. Yeah, they do. And then you yeah. get misinformation and then people Right. But they also allow us to be what we are in other ways. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, like good storytellers? Yeah. Among I am a really things. good storyteller. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Prove it. I, I did. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> the dumbest response, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude i don't i don't believe anything anyone ever says period well that's bad that. yep but it is hard to bad. it is hard man it is that it is that <laughs> no but it really dude, is it the, is hard dude the other day i was with Kristen and a bunch of her friends and she said to her friends uh i okay so i farted i guess i don't even really oh! remember <laughs> Wow, dude! And she, and I and I was, was like, sorry, I don't give a fuck. I farted. Sure, you know? yeah, okay. And and she was like, I don't remember if I actually farted or not, but I was talking about <laughs> farting. And then she was like, um, "You're you said that you uh, f think it's bad for the body if you hold farts inside because they need to come out that it's unhealthy." And I and 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 Kristen said this. This is something Kristen says and stands by. And she said, I said it. About you, of, right. About okay, to yeah. me. And I said, Kristen, hold on a second. Hold on a second, dude. Either I'm crazy or this is something you say. She's like, no, you do. I was like, think about what you're saying. Who believes this? And she goes like this. Oh, I do. 
Oh. I say, you say this. She's like, you're right. I knew it was one of us. So she at least but, admitted it. Then. But most but people it's won't. Yeah, but it's something that she stands by. It's until, something that she well, said no, over and over again. Until you made well, her think about it. No, no, no. She stands by the the oh, thing. Oh, I see what you're saying. Because yeah, yeah, when she farts, I'm like, don't do that. And she's like, it's bad for you if you keep it in. I'm like, no, it's not. You're oh, just in wow. a burping. Weird. 